My name is Kelly Braun. I'm a university guidance counselor here at SSIS. I'm Elizabeth Suba. I am the high school counselor for grades 9 through 12. I'm Jemison Foster. I'm a university guidance counselor at uh, Saigon South International School. This is my fourth international school. I was in London and in Munich. I really enjoy the behind the scenes of working with kids and being able to troubleshoot with them and find ways for them to grow as an individual. We split where you have university guidance away from the social emotional component of it. So it provides deeper care for the students. Next year we'll be adding a second social emotional counselor where we will support all the other needs for students. In grade nine, we advise them around what they think they might want to do when they grow up, what countries they may want to apply to, building a foundation for then 11 and 12 if they decide to do the IB Diploma program, they decide to do our AP courses, they decide to do a mix of them, of AP and SSIS or IB and SSIS, that they're prepared to have that conversation. We offer more courses than any international school that I know of. Just because, just by the fact that we offer both the AP and IB, plus our own courses, it's a big decision for students to make. Ms. Suba handles the course registration for grade eight going into grade 9. Ms. Braun and I do the course registration for grade 9 kids and for grade 10, 11 and 12s. We have to really sit down and we have uh, extensive conversations with them. We're meeting on a daily basis. If a student needs to have a conversation with any one of us, we're, our doors are always open. Everyone has access to the same support. So it's about wellness, about self-exploration, identity and so forth, things that they're going through kind of um, exploring in a safe space and they have that opportunity in high school before they go to university and become an adult. Where you have university guidance counselors and a social emotional counselor, we always kind of um, joke about the fact that it's hard to split the two. I came here because everything about this school supports students in finding who they are and knowing who they are. The biggest question to answer in the university process, no matter where you're going in the world, is who are you? Most people think it's about the grades, it's about the test scores, it's about the transcripts, but at the end of the day, it's who are you and what is the right fit? I help with the paperwork, I help with the transcripts, I help them understand the process, but I don't do it for them. They have to do it themselves, they have to know who they are. That's only through having those conversations, stress management conversations, time management conversations. She was part of the whole process in my senior year because from the beginning I already I talked to her a few times and she even met my mom and I to discuss my university list so that was extremely helpful. Talking to her now in ninth grade, it's really good because then in 10th grade, 11th grade, and 12th grade you have more of a relationship where they'll understand more of what you want to do, you understand what works better, like how, what your options are. When I came here, I realized this is a much better space for me to grow and get individualized help. Initially, I didn't know a lot about colleges. He definitely helped expose me to some of these schools. A lot of kids are wanting to go to Harvard or NYU or like Stanford and as amazing as those schools are, it's also important to consider yourself and your own happiness. The doors are open to them for any university in the world, whatever's the best fit for them. And our kids go to great oh. Oh yeah, there are some amazing schools out there for those kids. I have students walk through my door who are good fits for any school in the world. Top, super selective universities. And I love that they get to represent not only their home country, but our school as well. Right before winter break, we all went in groups of three based on our study hall class to Misuba, and we just talked about what like we liked and disliked about our first semester at um, in freshman year. It was really nice to see that it's actually like the counselors actually care about what's going on in our personal lives too and not just, oh, we have to get you ready for college. What are we, what are we classes are we going to do? Student to counselor numbers are very low, um, which means that we have the time to meet with our kids individually. When you look at the amount of time that we can spend one-on-one -on -one with students, 
in their university process. It's going to be higher than any other school in the area. Having the resources available is quite impactful for students. You're working with them in ninth grade all the way up to 12th grade. You really get an opportunity to get to know the kids. I get to see them on their best days. I get to see them on their worst days. 12th grade is a stressful time with IB or AP and then college essays on top of that. It's a lot to balance. And she gave me a lot of support, gave me a lot of great advice. And I, I really appreciate that.